You guys know I spend a lot of money on bait. It's so easy. Just like right before you go fishing, stop by the bait shop, buy some shrimp. Here's the thing though. I have a perfectly good cast net. I don't know if I'd say my cast netting skills are perfectly good, but we're working on it. And especially as it comes more towards the fall, the mullet are going to be around. There's going to be a little bit more shrimp around. We need to level up our cast netting game. So we have one cast net, a bucket, and we stopped at the store and picked up some of this. Paws and claws made with real ocean fish, added vitamins. And also do not forget about the friskies. Okay, so from what I've heard, you can kind of bait the water and we might have a better chance of getting some shrimp slash smaller fish, AKA bait. All right, so today to help level up my skills, we are going to be eating whatever we catch, but with the cast net. This does not only include the cast net, so look, we can catch stuff with the cast net and eat it, but also I'm gonna catch hopefully bait and then we can catch some bigger fish maybe and possibly eat those. I don't know. It's kind of like a little wager to myself. I gotta stop spending so much money on bait so we could buy like apple cider and apple cider donuts and stuff. So I'm gonna talking man. Let's see what we could do. Let's get this video started. If you're a fish or a bait swimming around this area, watch out. All right, so first things first, let's try to see if we can cast this thing. The other day I was kind of like messing around, like casting this lot, just trying to get the form down. I think we kind of have got it. It opens up. That's all you can ask for, right? I've watched some YouTube videos and this is where we're kind of be targeting is this boat ramp. So first I'm just gonna kind of cast it right out here. I don't know if the tides matter. I don't know too much. I don't see too much bait popping around, but I just have a feeling that something might possibly be in here. All right, so here we go y'all. First cast of the day of the net. It, yeah, oh. All right, we're gonna open up the friskies. We'll probably get all the help we need here today. That smells interesting. Chuck it right along. Oh yeah. Definitely all stinky. By the way, this stuff's pretty cheap too. 60 something cents for per can. All right, so kind of why we're trying over here at this spot, I've heard boat ramps, like little seawall kind of things like this and places like creek mouths and stuff. You guys saw me try a couple of videos ago to do this at a creek mouth and it was just completely dry. I went at the wrong tide. I don't even know what freaking tide it is right now, to be honest. But I drive around to a lot of these places around here, and I, I was talking to a guy that was standing here, and he's like, yeah, there's some bait sometimes. That was more than enough for me to get my net and come back a different day and try, so let's see. We're gonna hit this hard. See, I don't even know if you guys saw that. I don't know if this camera angle's any good, but that was a pretty good darn throw right there. I'm getting, getting somewhere with the throws. Oh, I see at least one in there. That's a big freaking shrimp, dude. The shrimp might be here. That's the only one, but that, that that's a big one. Oh, let's freaking go, man. I mean, it's not like, this isn't a mega shrimp. If you order shrimp at a restaurant, would you be excited to get this dude? I don't know. Look how big these whiskers are. Giant freaking whiskers. That's a nice shrimp though, man. Hopefully we can get a, a decent amount of these. We can fish with them, maybe catch some fish, but also taste test some of these dudes out. Like, it just, I can't believe. This actually works. All right, cat food. Looks like it's doing something. Oh. There we go. Two. Boom. Oh yeah, we are on them. I mean, kinda, this isn't anything crazy. Y'all see in there? One, two, three, four. Four solid shrimp. I think if we stick it out, if we really work this thing, we can get a good amount, hopefully. All right, was it recorded? We just got two more. One's a baby, we'll take it for now. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Dude, we are freaking on them right now. Again, I'm not the most professional or the best at casting this thing, but I think the other time I spent the other day, I was really just trying to get the technique down. And it's still not, <laughs> still not down. But it's better than what it was. I mean, I was throwing like, instead of pancakes, which is what you want, we were throwing like hot dogs and the hot dog wasn't even opening. It was a mess. And this old guy was watching me 
He's just, he's just like laughing to himself. This is just something I really want to get good at because this will save us a lot of money, hopefully in the long term. See, look at that, that opened. It wasn't a pancake, but that definitely opened up enough. And I dropped some calf wood, I think right down there. I think something's in here, man. Sometimes you can feel them. Oh, dude, I see one. No joke, sometimes you can feel them like grooving and moving. Oh, there's two, two. Oh, three, four. Look at this. One, two, three, and then big boy. That's like an eater right there. Four. <laughs> Dude, we've got a good amount of shrimp already. See if we can get some bigger ones now. We're getting some good numbers. Oh, all right, so I don't know. I'd probably say I threw that around 30, 40, maybe 50 times. I don't know. We were really chucking that thing. I kind of got the technique pretty good down, if I do say so. I mean, it's not a freaking pancake, but it opens up enough to where we can catch pinfish and little scrimps. Let me turn this bubbler off. All right, look at all we've got in here, man. I don't know if you guys can really see this. Oh. Dude, we've got shrimp on shrimp on shrimp in this bucket. We have one jump out here. Oh, they're jumping out. All right, chill. A little jumping beans. So that's probably, I mean, I mean, that might be like two and a half dozen, to be honest. Nothing giant. I mean, we do have some decent ones. Dude, they're jumping out. Hold on. Like, don't get me wrong. We got some decent ones, but nothing like huge, big old. It's not like a five-star service of shrimp cocktail. One other time ever we've caught shrimp, I was in like, uh, where was that? South Carolina? Caught a big old redfish on that, but never have actually caught them and then cooked them and ate them. So this is gonna be actually pretty interesting. Before any of that though, I wanna see if we can catch some fish on this. We're gonna tie up a rig, get the fishing rod out. I mean, if the bait is here, there should be fish around here, right? These are all the shrimp we caught and I don't wanna get stabbed by him, but we've got a tiny, oh, he's still alive too. Get this bubbler back on. Got a little pinfish in there. That would be perfect bait for something. All right, let's see what we could do here. So we got a fishing rod. We have a little popping cork. I think this actually came from the like Walmart kit, remember that video? Then we got a little leader and that goes down to a small hook. All we're gonna do is put a little shrimp on the end of this small hook and I'm hoping, I mean, this is like premier bait. Get one of these dudes right through the horn. All right, let's cast it out right there. Let's put this lid back on real quick. I don't know if you guys can hear, I like freaked up my bubbler. So it sounds extra goofy now. All right, so it's a little bit later in the day. I stopped by home and we actually dropped a few of the shrimp off because I actually really want to try to eat some of these dudes. There's a sea turtle swimming right next to me, which is so freaking sick. He's just chilling, man. I feel like he should be in the EAC. Also, I looked over the footage from earlier. We did a little bit of fishing. We caught some smaller stuff, but while we caught some of that smaller stuff, the camera was all like smudgy and dirty. And also, we didn't really catch too much stuff. All right, we just hooked into this dude. This might be what's, oh, wait, I've been getting some stuff messing with the shrimp. This is all the way over near the other dock. Get out of here. Oh. There's a fish. That feels a little bit better actually. Hold on a second. I cannot tell. What is this? Oh jeez. Alright, that's not. That's not what we want to see. That right there is a spiky catfish. That thing will freak up our day if that spikes us. All right, yet again, catfish, boom, bomb. There's a fish. Oh, man. You have to think, right? We're throwing shrimp. Something decent size would have to possibly... What is this now? Oh, yeah, oh, yet again, a little perch. Hmm. Nothing super crazy. So we're back out here at a different spot and we're gonna be trying to uh, see what we could do here, man. I'm excited. We already got some shrimp to cook. I'm trying to see what else we got. We got the static seasoning on deck ready to go. Hopefully we can catch something a little bit better and we have the cast net here too, just in case we see something. By the way, right now I'm also, look at this. 
It's my free foot. I'm trying to build the strength back up in this left foot. If you guys know, I've been dealing with some stuff. We've been having a boot on for way too freaking long. It's complicated. It still kind of hurts, but I think we just got to build the strength up. And I don't know. We're still figuring all that out. Look at this. What you doing, turtle? What's up, buddy? It's crazy because right around here, like, there's a bunch of, like, mud minnows, it looks like, right there. There's a crab, like a little baby crab. Right here, there's a little hermit crab. Walking, there's several hermit crabs over there. There's a bunch of bait. I just don't see any, um like bigger mullet or anything, which could come through jumping around here at any moment. You never freaking know. Yeah, we got this popping cork on. I'm just gonna launch this out there. We're gonna see what happens. Basically, if you're not familiar with the popping cork, it's super simple. It's like a bobber, except it's got some rattles in it and you can kind of pop it. And that is supposed to attract fish. There's a bunch of, oh my God. Dude, something big just smacked us right there. Did you see that? It stole our... Oh my God. I missed it. What's going on here? This bubbler's kind of freaked up a little bit. It, uh, yeah, not the best noises it makes. It's a long story, man. Please come back and bite me, whatever the heck that was. I don't know if you guys saw that from here. The, the bobber just... That's exactly what you want with a popping cord. You just want to draw the fish over and you just want to see that thing shoo. And I flubbed it. Maybe he didn't eat it good, I don't know. We'll blame him or her. No, you want another one. If you ate one, you want another. In this spot, and this time of the year, I mean, there's so many different things I could possibly bite right now. It's just like, you really don't know. Bluefish, big old redfish, big old trout. Pompano, just so much stuff. Especially when there's so much bait around in the fall run and mullet run. Come on. I just have a feeling we're we're, in, we're due for something, you know? Oh, there's a big old turtle right there again. Time like this, the tide is coming in. Bait everywhere. No way we don't get smoked, right? Just gotta make sure that turtle doesn't eat us. Wanna try over here too. Oh, dude, this is, this pathway is why is this tide coming in so high? The path to get back is almost freaking flooded. It is very toasty today as well. It's going to be very interesting. So you guys know if you've been watching the channel for a while, I'm from Delaware. It is turning into like kind of the fall here in Florida very, very soon. Like I think next week is supposed to be mostly in the 80s. Right now it's still 90s, like mid to upper 90s. It's, it's freaking toasty, but it's supposed to start cooling down. So it'll be interesting to see just the whole process, you know? Here it gets chillier, but not super cold at all, really. But it should feel really good. Oh my gosh. Bait jumping out there. I have never seen the water this high here. I had to move the truck. We we're basically out of casting distance. This guy's over here swimming. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hey. Hi. How are you? Up, up. Go ahead. Hey, were you sleeping? All right, so here are our shrimp. We're just gonna dump it into a colander and we're gonna clean these things super quick. All right, y'all, so here we go. We cut the heads off of the shrimp, as y'all can see right there. And we just kind of put everything in this bag, the ones that were already croaked, and then just the heads and whatever else. We're gonna use that for bait in a future video. Nothing goes to waste here, but this is, I mean, something. <laughs> Not the most left after doing all the fishing and everything. And I didn't want to keep ones that were, like I didn't want to eat them. They're already croaked, so. 
Yeah, man. We're gonna see how they taste and if it's worth, I mean, eating these tiny ones. And then hopefully in the future, these are supposed to get bigger. It depends on like moon cycles and other stuff. So the ones that are hanging out around that boat ramp, hopefully it might be bigger in like two, three weeks. Maybe something like that. So we can compare these to maybe when they're bigger too. I don't know. There's a lot of places to do this around here and it's like a big thing in Florida I didn't even know about with shrimping. A lot of people go at night. There's a lot of science that goes into it, but yeah. All right, so this was fun, man. This was a learning experience. Not only are we upgrading our cast net abilities, but also I'm just trying to find like new ways to save money and find bait. If you guys saw a couple videos ago, we were digging up some ghost shrimp. Um, a couple videos ago, we were finding some sand fleas. And then today we actually found my personal favorite, the premier fresh shrimp. Now they were not thick by any means. And you know, we didn't catch the most or biggest fish. We still did catch some fish, but it's just, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's just like a really good feeling to go out there and try these things and have, you know, your own experiences. Like a lot of YouTubers, and this is fun, like it's, there's no problem with it, but a lot of people go out like with a guide and then, you know, kind of showcase that. This is literally just me just trying to freaking do stuff. Like I'm from Delaware. I don't really know what I'm doing down here, but we're figuring it out slowly but surely and it's very rewarding, so. I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I guess it's more of a realistic experience and it's just, I don't it's fun, dude. Just a cast net and a dream. I wasn't joking about the cider, man. Crispy cold apple cider on deck. And also, if you know, you know, man. Halloween time, fall is here. Kelsey and I love those cookies and it's just like a fun time of the year, you know. As I said, it gets cooler, but also football comes back. Apple cider, apple cider donuts, dude. I don't know. I have to find somewhere around here. I'm a fiend for some apple cider donuts and. I don't know if you can really get them down here in Florida. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna have to go on a search for those, but let me get these shrimp out real quick. Turn this on. All right, so butter into the pan. And you already know the deal, man. Static seasoning, we're gonna make some static butter. Shrimp into pan. What's up, man, you thirsty? How you been? Talk to the people. You been hanging out? Having fun. We found this little like lake near us. That's like a doggy lake and he's been swimming. He was born to swim. He's just hanging out, not much to say. All right, one really nice thing about shrimp is that they just cook so freaking fast. So these things are probably almost ready to flip and then they will be done. I really would like to do in the future. Like I have a dream. So you guys know how we made that seafood boil a couple videos ago. Freaking bomb, it was amazing. I have a dream where we make the most epic seafood boil ever where we have shrimp that we caught with the cast net or some way. Shrimp, crab, just everything. Bring out the whole ocean. I guess the thing I'm kind of testing here is like, is this even worth getting these little shrimp and eating them? I'm not gonna lie, that's looking pretty good right there. Definitely let me know if you guys catch shrimp, um, and if you have any tips for me, or for any tips that you guys saw when I was throwing the cast net. An old guy was trying to tell me to put it in my mouth. I don't know, just, I feel like that's not very sanitary, but also, I don't want to, like, rip my freaking tooth out. Also, if you guys want to pick up a bottle of this stuff, I've been putting this literally on everything, but especially in stuff like this, man, where you can make some stack butter. You can make anything with it. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, that'll be down in the description below. I mean, even without butter, like I've just been putting that stuff on everything. And it's just like this unique spiciness flavor. It's so freaking good. Also, I'm kind of curious, if you guys do shrimp, what do you guys use for bait or do you even bait? I know a lot of people like create their own shrimp meal and you can do this out of like fish meal and like people mix it with sand and rocks and a bunch of other stuff and some people mix it with cat food and some people just throw straight up cat food. There's like honestly a lot of science that goes into it like I was saying and a lot of people go at night. I've heard that the shrimp during the day like when it's toastier out they go deeper and then at night and especially like if there's lights and stuff they're attracted to the lights but at night they kind of go shallower so that's why a lot of people like cast that from like piers and the shore and stuff. I'm just getting into all this stuff. So if any of you guys have any tips, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. It would be appreciated. I'm just hyped that we actually found some dude. And it's cool that we did catch some fish again on them. It wasn't the biggest of fish, but every time you go out, you're not always in your car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And boom, they are done cooking. Let's peel them, let's eat them. And we are going to see if, the, first of all, this is worth it. If we got a bunch of these, we could put them in like some kind of pasta or just even eat them like this or something, you know what I'm saying? Like a good fall football game snack. Or maybe we can catch them like this and then like chop them up after we peel them and then like make some kind of like shrimp dip 
for the football game. If you're not into football, you could just eat shrimp. I'm honestly just interested to see if this tastes like any different than, say you go to a grocery store, you get like a frozen bag of shrimp or even some fresh shrimp at the seafood thing. Like, does it taste different than that? Or is it just shrimp? It's a little toasty. All right, here, ow, 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 it's kind of hot. All right, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. You know what I was kind of thinking, right? So you know how people get crawfish and make big old crawfish boils and then they eat the crawfish? This is like as much or even maybe more meat than you get from crawfish. So maybe it does make sense to catch like a bunch of these dudes. All right, static butter shrimp, freshly caught straight from the cast master Padawan himself. All right, let's take this shot here. Dude, that is so good. We were definitely gonna be doing this a little bit more. Um, these things are freaking fire. I could just envision it now, making some freaking dip, some static butter dip with the, ooh, some cream cheese or something. Fresh caught cast net shrimp fire. And I've been learning a lot about shrimp, as I said. There's different kinds of shrimp in different parts of Florida and stuff. With all this new fishing and bait and stuff, just exploration we've been doing, I've been trying to do, do a lot of research and a bunch of on field research as well. We're not just uh, cast net Padawans. <laughs> We are scientists as well as chefs. Again, I appreciate all y'all for all the freaking support. The videos have been going crazy the past like month or two. And um, yeah, man, I appreciate every one of you who's bought a seasoning. That is down in the description below. It is freaking fire. And I'm not just saying that, man. I love getting pictures of the stuff that you guys cook with it. And uh, yeah, man, just if you guys could, man, go down there, hit that thumbs up button. I know I don't say that a lot. So let's keep this rolling. We're still rehabbing the bit of the freaking foot. We'll see how that goes. I kind of want to fish the beach, but I think I got to put the boot back on for that. But I'm going to stop talking. Shout out to these Halloween decorations. All I got to say, man, so let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. Boop. You want to know just where?